Hi everyone, Elisa with Jata Designs. In this video, I show you how I cover my old lap tray with some epoxy resin. I've had this tray for a really long time, so it's pretty beat up. On the back, I didn't do anything, but you can see the Velcro where the cushion attaches. And I gave the front a good clean with alcohol and a quick sand with 220 grit sandpaper, and then I sprayed two light coats of flat black spray paint. I'll be using this J Diction epoxy resin, and it's the four hour cure one. Besides a respirator, for supplies I've got my marked mixing cup, a plastic stir stick from J Diction, cups and wood sticks for the colors, gloves, and my stash of various silicone tools that I will often use to apply silicone oil. And I use this three in one silicone oil. For my colors, I'll be using the white and black paste from Lorez, also the teal, light turquoise, and cool mint, Artisu's green ice, and back to Lorez with Nemo and Aqua Ocean. I've got Just Resin's Blue Diamond, and then Color Obsession's Turquoise, Dark Turquoise, and Daisy Yellow. I want to mention, if you have paste like this in these type of containers, sometimes they'll harden up. They're still good, so don't worry about that. All you need to do is warm them up. I usually use my heat gun on low heat, but you can also use a hairdryer or put them in a Ziploc type bag and stick it in a hot water bath for about 20 to 30 minutes. If it has liquid on top, you'll want to warm up the entire jar, and usually I do that with the hot water bath, and then stir it all together. If it's just a solid like this one is, you'll just need to heat up what you need really. Again, low heat, keep it moving so you don't overheat the product or melt the container. The resin I'm using is a one-to-one -one by volume. Make sure you follow directions for mixing for any resin that you use. And since it's a faster curing resin, you don't want it to sit in the large amounts in like the mixing cup, and that'll help you avoid flash curing. When mixing colorants into resin, the general rule is to keep it about 10% or less for liquid colorants, especially if it's water-based. You can see I'm using just a small amount on these pastes on the end of the mini popsicle stick and then getting it mixed in. I'm using black for the base to help with the colors flow better. I've got more white than the other colors because I will be using that in between a bunch of the colors more often. I just needed enough black to put a very thin layer on. As you can see, it's a thick resin and it doesn't want to move. So I warmed it up a little with my heat gun and then I'm able to spread it around easier with my hand. I go over it quickly with the torch to pop the bubbles and just keep it a little bit more fluid. Then I start in with the colors. To get the best effects out of the silicone oil, in my opinion, you definitely want to layer your colors like I'm doing here. I tend to like faster curing resins for silicone oil effects. I do have a video where I show several of the ways you can apply the silicone oil and also talk about how the different resins affect the results. So definitely check that video out after this one if you haven't already. I'm kind of containing my colors and keeping the black base as part of the overall end result by doing these lines and keeping them separated. For the silicone oil, I'm just going to add some into this little cup and use the silicone basting brush I picked up from Dollar Tree. I'll dip it in the cup and tap it down to the surface of the board. The resin wasn't moving very fast, so I warmed it up a little with my torch, and of course that also pops bubbles. I like how the bristles on this brush are curved. It will give a little bit more shape to the cells and also keep the cells smaller by each basically framing the ones next to it.
Then I'm gonna grab a toothpick and just start adding more all over where I felt it was needed. I add a ton of silicone oil to this piece. I'll make a separate video showing exactly how I prep for a clear layer on a piece when I use silicone. Prep is something I really, really do not like doing, but in something like this, it's beyond worth doing because you don't want to end up having to redo your clear layer because you got some divots or some fish eyes just because you didn't prep properly. So watch that video when it comes out if it's not already out. I'm very happy with how it turned out. And like the desk I made, it'll be a distraction for me because there's just so many details to be looking at all the time. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you like this video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and mark the bell to notify you when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.